Now on Local 5 News, Congress averts a disruptive government shutdown. What's in the deal and how did Iowa's legislators vote? Ending the stigma about eating disorders and helping others. I do think it can help others um, kind of realize that there is treatment options. All new on Good Morning Iowa, the work to help others facing similar issues. We are just now entering the month of March, but Mother Nature is ready for spring. I'll show you how warm the temps will get this weekend. Caitlin Clark is set to enter the WNBA draft, foregoing her final year at Iowa. Local 5 is on your side, preparing you for Iowa's regular season finale this Sunday. This is Good Morning Iowa. Good morning, Iowa. Happy Friday to all of you. It is 630. Thank you so much for joining us on this Friday morning. Uh, as we start the weekend, it is a busy morning. We're following a few different Very things uh, this morning. And Talk about a crazy temperature swing. We went from record warmth on Monday to sub zero wind chills this morning, and now we look ahead to 70s this weekend. I'll show you if the warm up will stick around for good this time. Early voting begins for the vacant at large city council seat in Des Moines. As your family gets ready, the key deadlines you should know. Happening today, Caitlin Clark and the Hawkeyes are on the road against Minnesota. We are on Caitlin Clark watch as she shoots for first. Plus, how tickets to see the Hawkeyes play this weekend are also rewriting the record books. This is Good Morning Iowa. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Thank you for joining us in Good Morning Iowa. It is 630 on your Wednesday morning. Uh, we've enjoyed the nice weather that we've <laughs> been very spoiled to have, but. New this morning, we are just days away from Thanksgiving and we're getting ready for a blast of chilly air. I'll walk you through the arrival of the cold and let you know what it means for your post holiday travel plans. Plus, Larissa, you're covering a really important story. Yeah, it's an important day of remembrance. Local advocates are speaking out on violence against transgender people and honoring those who've died because of it. Yeah, that's a big story that we'll be following this morning. Also, a community garden has become a gathering spot for people. Why the city of Des Moines, though, is asking them to make changes. This is Good Morning Iowa. Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Monday, 630 uh, this morning with a beautiful live look here right over downtown Des Moines this morning. Witnesses took the stand in day three of Preston Walls' murder trial. We were in court while this body cam video rolled. We're going to talk about what witnesses say happened that day when police took him into custody. Also this morning, Brandon, we're tracking a break finally in that heat. Yeah, you know, it feels more like September outside, and what we have right now is not even the coolest air we will see. I'll show you when temperatures will drop even more. Plus, this morning, Samantha, our Larissa Millis will share a heartwarming story. All new this morning, the benefits of reading out loud, how sharing a passion for books is helping one child build the confidence she needs to make her way. This is Good Morning Iowa. Good morning, Iowa. Happy Wednesday to all of you at 630. Here is a live look this morning at the intersection of Merle Hay and Pioneer Parkway in Johnston, courtesy of our photojournalist Ali up bright and early with us this morning. Thank you so much for being with us on this Wednesday again at 630. Uh, we are halfway through the week and today We're feeling good. Loving the feeling feel. good.